Welcome back! We are penetrating deeper and deeper into the body of Stellar. Wait, that didn't come out right. Um, We are in the Duodenum. This looks like the center section of the Duodenum. It has that same lovely bio-green brilliance. And there's an exit. Ah, the old ampulla of Vater, surrounded by the sphincter of Adi. Didn't you always wonder what it looked like? The bile slick seems to be a little fresher there. Okay, I think that's supposed to be a hint that that is the place to get the bile, which you might uh, need to dissolve that pill. But, well, like I said, a lot of it is very, very vague. I'm actually gonna go down first. It's also very easy to miss the fact that you can actually go down first, so if you just go in there and don't bother to hover your cursor near the bottom of the screen. This is the place where the duodenum meets the small intestine. The mixture of food, acids, bile, and enzymes move on from here and pass over the villi, where nutrients are absorbed into the bloodstream. It's a fascinating place, wouldn't you say? Yes, but I'd still rather not be here. And we can climb into the uh, small intestine. Yikes! Worm Since sign! Since you the tapeworm not partially digested, you'll probably give him heartburn. I hope you're proud of yourself. That was not a good idea. That's a big one. This is the very bottom of our old friend, the Duodenum. You can see the beginning of the Jejunum. The villi start here. They increase the surface area of the small intestine a great deal, giving more area to absorb nutrients. All in all, it just looks like a French tickler turned inside out to me. A what? Never mind, it's not important. Yes. Great Scott, that certainly is one buff parasite. I think I'm gonna spew. But who'll notice? Man, that thing is ugly. Indeed. And it looks like he's not gonna let us pass. Can we do anything with it? That has no effect. At least it appears that way. He can't just go past it, and if you go too low, um, well, you saw what what happens. He'll eat you! And I've seen these babies swallow whole harvesters, so Roger is no, uh, challenge for them. Wait, different time for him. Um, now, this is, again, a place where there's really not any hints for what you're supposed to do next. You are actually supposed to use the pill to take care of this thing. If there was a hint for that and I've missed it, I'd like uh, you to point it out. I will gladly admit that I'm wrong. But, in my case, I actually um, needed some hints to get past here. And otherwise, I think the uh, only real way you can find out what you're supposed to do is just by trying everything. And that would include, of course, going up here into the uh, sphincter of Audi or whatever it was called. Which takes us to a fork in the road. Welcome to the heart of the bile belt. This is indeed Spew Central. At this location, secretions from the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas merge to form a duodenal delight, guaranteed to break down almost anything the stomach doesn't. The common bile duct runs up from here. See, um, like I said, we can find stuff here that might help us break down that pill. 
That's the top part of the head of Stellar's pancreas. An odd feeling passes through you just being amongst Stellar's organs. Oh, it's certainly unusual, that's for sure. Let's uh, head up. What's that? A large gallstone hangs above the entrance to the gallbladder. I'm sure that's of no importance to us whatsoever. That wouldn't be wise. Those suckers could fall and smash you flat. Better leave it alone then. Where does this go? This is the cystic duct. You are quite near where the gallbladder becomes part of the bile parade. I don't think you can actually go in there. No, no! I didn't mean to walk back down. Okay, that was pointless. Anyway, I proved my point, you can't go in there. We can, however, go further to the left. Into the gallbladder, I believe. Wow, interesting. Wow, check out all that bile. Looks like her liver's been doing just fine. That's a pool of bile any liver would be proud of. You sure can't speak highly of its aroma. If I'm not mistaken, and I seldom am, that's the mucosa, or inner lining of the gallbladder. It helps make the bile even more vile by absorbing spare water content. Very informative. Well, it seems like this would be the kind of stuff we need to, um... ...dissolve the pill. But how can we take it with us? Well, this is where the helmet comes in, which can serve as a nice container, however you can't just... As cool as it would be to interface these two items, no good would come of it. You can't just scoop it up, unfortunately. You, um, need to do something else. And this is almost as obscure as the rubber ducky clamp thing in uh, The Longer's Journey. We have a hand-cranked pump we took from the trunk of the shuttle uh, before. And that is what we're going to have to use. But that pump is pretty useless without some hose. And we can make a makeshift hose using these uh, capillaries. However, they're not much use as long as they're uh, in separate pieces. So we have to use that universal solution to every problem there is, duct tape, to make one big capillary. You cleverly taped the capillaries together. Very clever. Now attached our makeshift hose to the pump. Nice work. You've hooked up your makeshift hose to the pump. That's what I said. And then we can use that to pump up some of this stuff. You chuck one of the taped capillaries over the muscular ledge. It drops into the pool. Roger automatically uses his helmet. I guess if you don't have it with you, uh... You give the pump a stroke or two, and in the process, gather a nice helmet load of bile. I guess congratulations are in order. I guess so. I guess if you don't have the helmet with you, Roger will complain or something. I never actually tried that. You can't take the pump uh, with you anymore. You've got plenty of that stuff. Or did you want to take some home to Mom? We can add it to the uh, memorabilia collection in our quarters. Okay, time to head back down. Which I'm sure will... Uh-oh.
That was close. The gallstone is wedged in the bile duct, and that's just a fine place for it. If you say so. I'm sure that won't cause any troubles for, uh... uh stellar? You can't change its location, alter its position, or affect its current velocity. Not only that, it won't budge. I think that's what he said. In any case, it means we won't be going back up to the gallbladder. Fortunately, we don't have to go there anymore. Nice gallstone collection. Can I take some of those? Indeed, we can. Um, now, by itself, this is actually not enough to uh, dissolve the pill. We also need to go off to the right here. This is the main pancreatic duct. It appears that there's some blockage toward the tail of the pancreas. It definitely gets a bit snug. Seems to be a buildup of cholesterol arterial plaque. Uh-huh. There is some cholesterol blocking our way. So if we can just squeeze through, maybe, perhaps? Yeah. This is way too snug. This blockage needs to be cleared. Stellar's going to have to change her diet. That is, if she can face life after having you inside her. Right. Well, either Stellar has to change her diet, or Roger has, so he can fit through there. But we don't have time for that. We're in a hurry. Um, this is another one of those things. Yeah, there's a lot of them, I told you. You are supposed to um, stick these uh, ravioli or alveoli or whatever in here. And then use the mouth icon on them to blow them up. I'd like a show of hands from the audience at this point for those people who actually thought of that by themselves and didn't either stumble on it by accident or use a hint guide. It's been too long for me since I played this game, so I don't actually remember where I used the hint guide. I know I used the hint guide in this portion of the game. A couple of times. But there were also a couple of things that I just figured out by, um... Well, by trying everything. Yikes. This place looks weird. I guess this is a pancreas. And here we have the Islands of Langerhans. They're a big deal here in the pancreas. Apparently, they play an important part in introducing hormones to the blood system as well as adding an enzyme which, when joined with the bile secretion from the gallbladder, forms some kind of spew that breaks down stuff the stomach acids don't. Fats, and that kind of thing. Not only that, but some cells release insulin and others release glucagon to counter the insulin. It even offers up a bicarbonate to counteract the stomach's acid. All in all, it's a pretty strange and busy organ. It just looks like a uvula warehouse to me. It kind of does, doesn't it? A nice pool of pancreatic secretions made up of insulin and glucagon fill the bottom of the islands of Langerhans. And that stuff, it appears, would uh, help us nicely in breaking down that pill. But we're out of time, so we're going to have to collect it in the next video.